<laughs> You're too tall. I'm sorry. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, everyone. Merry Christmas. Hey, everybody. It's Haley. And today, I'm here with Zay. I don't know. I think Alex was only in, like, one or two videos. But this is, like, my new sister now. <laughs> yes. We're engaged, though. By law, <laughs> we're sisters. We're sisters. <laughs> we're making corn souffle today. It's gonna be super delicious. So mm. let's get started. Yay! So the recipe actually says you can mix it in the pan, which is kind of weird. But we're making a double batch, so I think we're just gonna mix it in a bowl. Probably be easier that way. So first, you need one cup of butter, and we're going to melt it. Make sure to cover your butter, unless you want to clean your microwave afterwards. We don't like to clean, so we use a plastic plate. Paper plate. Paper. Paper. Okay. Next step. We have two cans of normal corn. <laughs> Golden sweet whole kernel. And then two cans of cream style sweet corn. Well, we don't drain the cream corn, so we drain this corn. Why? Because this one has a bunch of water in it. In the cream and this corn one's like, like creamy. Cream I don't know. Yum. Yeah. That looks good. I would just eat this. <laughs> <laughs> some corn and some butter. Heck yeah. All of the corn goes I in. I, I, just say I, can't. I wish there was two of those so we could have a contest. Who can open kernels of corn? Oh, I'm actually not a big fan of corn. <laughs> like I, I never eat corn by itself. What? And my family thinks it's so weird. What is wrong with corn? N nothing. I just don't really like it. But I love this corn souffle. Next, we're going to add the sour cream. Add the sour cream after we've added all the corn to the butter. Two cups of sour cream. Oh, okay. This looks so good. Like, I would just eat this straight out of this bowl. I love sour cream. And it's a super easy recipe. And then mix that in. And I'm gonna grease our pan. So we're using two, I think, nine by 13 casserole dishes. Okay, we're making an extra big batch. You don't have to, and if you want to make a half batch, I will put measurements for that in the description. Okay, then we're gonna add four eggs. Four eggs. And I whisked them up ahead of time. <laughs> it smells so good too. You can really smell the sour cream and the corn. Do you like the smell of corn? Like, tell me that doesn't smell good. Like, I would light this candle. Yeah. If this was a candle. Okay. Then we add two boxes of corn muffin mix. Oh yes, who can open the box faster? Wait, these boxes are actually really hard to open. Well, you underestimated. Oh, they changed it. It used to be a paper bag and it was so hard. Okay. Was that what we were supposed to do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she just beat me. If there's one thing I can do, it's open a box. <laughs> what? <laughs> You can do a little more than oh. open a box. I spilled. Okay. Is this what you guys do? Fold it in? I feel so official right now. Because I've watched your videos, so I know. Yay! Look at that. Technique? Yeah, so we're gonna mix this until the muffin mix is not in like clumpy clumps. Oh, I should totally video. blend it. It was my birthday! <laughs> Everybody say happy birthday to Zane in the yes, comments. happy birthday Zane. Look at that. That is stunning. <laughs> that looks delicious. <gasps> Look at how it glistens. Okay, so now it's all ready and we're gonna put it into our pans. Oh, there's a little chunk in there. That was <gasps> No. I wonder who mixed this. <laughs> what dummy didn't mix this correctly? You're not a dummy. You thing. should be fired. <laughs> and now we're ready to bake these. 
You're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna bake these for 35 to 40 minutes. Until golden. And delicious. And delicious. <laughs> Thumbnail? Oh, we'll take a picture. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know how this works.